Cambridge Movers Seven by University of Cambridge ESOL Examinations, in conjunction with Cambridge University Press. This recording is copyright. Hello, this is the Cambridge Movers Practice Listening Test. Test one. Part one. Look at part one. Look at the picture. Listen and look. There is one example. What a lot of people in your garden today! Who's the boy who's running? The boy playing with the cat? Yes. That's Tom. He's my cousin. Can you see the line? This is an example. Now you listen and draw lines. One. Who's painting the window? That's Kim. It looks difficult. Yes, but he likes painting. Two. Look at that girl. That's Vicky. She's carrying a box. Are there vegetables in the box? Yes, they come from her garden. She brings them every week. Three. And the boy with the bike. Who's he? That's Jack. He's my brother's friend. It's a new bike. Mmm. It looks great. Yes, his grandpa gave it to him last week. Four. There are two children who are sitting on a mat. Who's the girl? Oh, that's Anna, and that's her brother. They're enjoying their game. Yes, they are. Five. Who's climbing the tree? That's Daisy. She's very good at climbing. Yes, she isn't afraid. She does that every day. Now listen to part one again. One. Who's painting the window? That's Kim. It looks difficult. Yes, but he likes painting. Two. Look at that girl. That's Vicky. She's carrying a box. Are there vegetables in the box? Yes, they come from her garden. She brings them every week. Three. And the boy with the bike. Who's he? That's Jack. He's my brother's friend. It's a new bike. Hmm. It looks great. Yes, his grandpa gave it to him last week. Four. There are two children who are sitting on a mat. Who's the girl? Oh, that's Anna, and that's her brother. They're enjoying their game. Yes, they are. Five. Who's climbing the tree? That's Daisy. She's very good at climbing. Yes, she isn't afraid. She does that every day. That is the end of part one. Part two. Listen and look. There is one example. Hello. 
Can I ask you some questions about classes at the sports centre, please? OK. First, what's your name? Lucy Flynn. Lucy Flynn. Is that F L Y double N? That's right. Can you see the answer? Now you listen and write. One. Right, Lucy. Which classes do you go to here? I have a swimming class. Swimming. OK. And do you enjoy that? Very much. Good. Two. When do you have your class, Lucy? On Saturday morning. No, that's wrong. It's in the afternoon now. OK. And you have it every week? Yes, on Saturday afternoon. Three. What's the name of your teacher? It's Mr Hart. He's very nice. Do you spell that H-A-R-T? Yes, that's right. Great. Four. Now, how do you get here, Lucy? I come with my father in the car. Does he come in and watch the class? No. He sits in the car and reads his book. Five. Now the last question. Do you do a lot of sports? Yes. I play tennis, hockey and basketball. And which is your favourite? Oh, I like tennis best. Thank you very much, Lucy. Now listen to part two again. One. Right, Lucy. Which classes do you go to here? I have a swimming class. Swimming, OK. And do you enjoy that? Very much. Good. Two. When do you have your class, Lucy? On Saturday morning. No, that's wrong. It's in the afternoon now. OK. And you have it every week? Yes, on Saturday afternoon. Three. What's the name of your teacher? It's Mr Hart. He's very nice. Do you spell that... H-A-R-T? Yes, that's right. Great. Four. Now, how do you get here, Lucy? I come with my father in the car. Does he come in and watch the class? No, he sits in the car and reads his book. Five. Now the last question. Do you do a lot of sports? Yes. I play tennis, hockey and basketball. And which is your favourite? Oh, I like tennis best. Thank you very much, Lucy. That is the end of part two. Part 3. Look at the pictures. What did Ben do last week? Listen and look. There is one example. Were you on holiday last week, Ben? Yes. On Wednesday I went to see my uncle and aunt. Did you go by train? No. We went in a helicopter because they live on an island. Wow! 
Can you see the line from the word Wednesday? On Wednesday, Ben went to visit his uncle and aunt. Now you listen and draw lines. One. So, Ben, what did you do on holiday? Well, on Thursday evening we went to the cinema. On Thursday? Did you see that great new film about the boy with a dog that can speak? No. It was about a girl and a helicopter. It was very exciting. Oh! Two. There's a big forest next to my uncle's house. Did you go there on Friday? No. We went on Saturday. Ah. We took a kite and we also took the dog for a walk. Three. Then we went to the forest again on Monday. And what did you do there? We had a picnic and took some photos. <laughs> did you enjoy it? Yes. I took a good picture of some lizards. Four. Did you go to the cinema again another day? No. The weather was nice. On Tuesday, we went to the beach. Did you go in the sea? Well, I did, but my aunt and uncle didn't. What about the dog? He doesn't like water. He likes playing on the sand. Tuesday was a good day. Five. I'd like to see their dog. I've got some pictures. Look. Oh, he looks happy. Yes. We went to the beach again on Sunday and I took some photos of him there. It was a cold day. Yes. I can see there aren't any people in the sea. Now listen to part three again. One. So, Ben. What did you do on holiday? Well, on Thursday evening we went to the cinema. On Thursday? Did you see that great new film about the boy with a dog that can speak? No. It was about a girl and a helicopter. It was very exciting. Oh! Two. There's a big forest next to my uncle's house. Did you go there on Friday? No. We went on Saturday. Ah. We took a kite and we also took the dog for a walk. Three. Then we went to the forest again on Monday. And what did you do there? We had a picnic and took some photos. <laughs> did you enjoy it? Yes. I took a good picture of some lizards. Four. Did you go to the cinema again another day? No. The weather was nice. On Tuesday we went to the beach. Did you go in the sea? Well, I did, but my aunt and uncle didn't. What about the dog? He doesn't like water. He likes playing on the sand. Tuesday was a good day. Five. I'd like to see their dog. I've got some pictures. Look. Oh, he looks happy. Yes. We went to the beach again on Sunday and I took some photos of him there. It was a cold day. Yes. I can see there aren't any people in the sea. That is the end of part three. Part 4. Look at the pictures. Listen and look. There is one example. What did Tony eat at his party? Hi, Aunt Sally. 
Did you have a nice birthday, Tony? Yes, it was great. What did you have to eat at the party? We had burgers. And chips? No, but we had lots of ice cream. Can you see the tick? Now you listen and tick the box. One. Which pet did Tony get for his birthday? Did you get a snake for your birthday, Tony? No, I wanted one, but Mom doesn't like them. Oh dear. My children don't like spiders, but I do. So do I. Mom bought me a rabbit. It's okay. Can I see it? Yes. Two. What did Tony wear at his party? That's a nice shirt that you're wearing. Yes, it was a present from a friend. And at the party, did you wear the sweater that I bought you? It was too hot. I wore a t-shirt. Three. What did the children do at the party? What did you do at your party? We played some good games. We had to look for treasure. Did you have a map to look at? Yes. And did you play football? No, but after the party, I went skating with my brother. Four. What did Tony like best about his birthday? What did you like best about your birthday, Tony? Well, I like this watch and Dad gave me a computer. Wow! What a lot of presents! Yes, but I made a video of the party. That was the best thing. Five. What's the matter with Tony? But what's the matter, Tony? Have you got a headache? No, I ate too much birthday cake yesterday. Have you got a stomach ache then? I'm sorry. No, but I've got a toothache. It hurts a lot. Now listen to part four again. One. Which pet did Tony get for his birthday? Did you get a snake for your birthday, Tony? No, I wanted one, but Mom doesn't like them. Oh dear. My children don't like spiders, but I do. So do I. Mom bought me a rabbit. It's okay. Can I see it? Yes. Two. What did Tony wear at his party? That's a nice shirt that you're wearing. Yes, it was a present from a friend. And at the party, did you wear the sweater that I bought you? It was too hot. I wore a t-shirt. Three. What did the children do at the party? What did you do at your party? We played some good games. We had to look for treasure. Did you have a map to look at? Yes. And did you play football? No, but after the party, I went skating with my brother. Four. What did Tony like best about his birthday? What did you like best about your birthday, Tony? Well, I like this watch and Dad gave me a computer. Wow! What a lot of presents! Yes, but I made a video of the party. That was the best thing. Five. What's the matter with Tony? But what's the matter, Tony? Have you got a headache? No, I ate too much birthday cake yesterday. Have you got a stomach ache then? I'm sorry. No, but I've got a toothache. It hurts a lot. That is the end of part four.
Part 5 Look at the picture. Listen and look. There is one example. Hello, May. Would you like to make this picture look better? Yes, please. OK. First, look at the moon. I can see it. Can I color it? Yes. Color the moon blue. Can you see the blue moon? This is an example. Now you listen and color and draw. One. OK, what shall I do now? Can you see the woman? Yes, she's standing next to the waterfall. Yes, well, color that waterfall yellow. OK. Two. Look, there's a man in the lake. Yes, I can see him. Color his head purple. The man's head? OK, I'm coloring that now. Three. And look at that tree. Yes, it has some coconuts on it. Can I color them orange? That's a good idea. I like coconuts, do you? Yes, they're good to eat. Four. Now the hippo in the lake. Color that. Well, there are two. Which one? The bigger one. Make it green. OK. The bigger hippo in the lake. Five. Now you can do some drawing. OK. Shall I put a rock in the picture? Yes. Draw a rock next to the flowers. Um, next to the flowers? I like the picture now. Now listen to part five again. One. OK, what shall I do now? Can you see the woman? Yes, she's standing next to the waterfall. Yes, well, color that waterfall yellow. OK. Two. Look, there's a man in the lake. Yes, I can see him. Color his head purple. The man's head? OK, I'm coloring that now. Three. And look at that tree. Yes. It has some coconuts on it. Can I color them orange? That's a good idea. I like coconuts, do you? Yes, they're good to eat. Four. Now the hippo in the lake. Color that. Well, there are two. Which one? The bigger one. Make it green. OK. 
the bigger hippo in the lake. Five. Now you can do some drawing. Okay. Shall I put a rock in the picture? Yes. Draw a rock next to the flowers. Um, next to the flowers? I like the picture now. That is the end of the Movers Practice Listening Test 1.